All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Sakura Dungeon. All right, guys, so um, it's been a few days since I played, so I forgot the last thing we were doing. I'm sure we were checking out the uh, dungeon now. Uh, before we continue, actually, um, I do need to apologize for something. Um, Somehow my recording software, the settings got changed uh, within, I don't know, maybe even the last couple weeks. So my recordings were not as crisp as they should have been and I didn't notice it until uh, just now because I have actually upgraded to a brand new computer and this is the first recording on the new computer so you are actually should be seeing this in 1080p at 60 frames per second so yes no more zero budget computer um, let's walk around town oh no we don't want to do that yet. so maybe I should look around later I don't remember the last thing I was doing I guess I was just going back uh, into the dungeon so did we have a new character or anything like that no not really um so let us just go back in and continue wherever we left off i don't really remember the last thing but i do know we still need to um deal with this place and also uh, a new thing that i have going on is that i have uh some better audio settings or should be better so uh, this should sound much better you should have a better visual quality everything should be better now and we have a demolitionist here so let's go ahead and just poison dust her and we get the paralyzed right away we'll go ahead and uh, uh, fire twist I guess let's try a crystal spike we're high level now man yes all right all right, uh, and I think just a nice flash here to finish her off. Very, very good. All right, uh, I feel so off kilter here because I've just been, uh, uh, I, you know, I haven't played in, in a few days and uh, just don't remember what I was doing. Uh, I think we want to go to the teleporter up here and go upstairs. I think we're up to the boss now, right? Is that what we're up to? I think that's what is uh, coming up. So we'll go here. I believe this will get us right to level three. Yep. And I would like to level up these guys more. I'm, sh I'm pretty positive the boss is going to be at least a level 70. Yeah. We've done all of this. So uh, we will just go this way. And we do have one battle here. Um, let's take out the commander first. We'll go ahead and uh, fire twister. Bam. All right. And we'll go ahead and poison duster as well. All right. And I think an ice flash here could be good. All right. Man, it feels so nice to have a, a new computer recording this it's looking really great on my end hopefully uh the recording's coming out great for you guys uh crystal spike here takes her out nice all right yomi's in flow we'll go ahead and go ahead and just poison dust this demolitionist it's for 20 and then we can just ice flash her to death here it doesn't kill but sets her up for a crystal spike which should demolish her all right very good feeling good all right now we d oh wait thought i saw a door there for a second but it's nothing it's just uh all right let's see if we can get to the door without a f no there'll definitely be a fight uh, oh you know what do i have a warding stone Let's go ahead and use it. All right. Oh, come on. We still have ended up with a fight. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go for broke. We'll throw out a poison bolt here. I really didn't want to take damage going into the final fight. We'll avoid damage there, there, and take a little there. Oh, I just remembered something. My friend Sean Kieser said I should use the physical seed on Sylvie. Uh, let's go ahead and crystal spike that commander there. Bam. Like that. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and poison this, this chick over here just to keep her from getting a CP too high over there. We'll go ahead and Ice Flash the commander here that could take her out. Not quite. But Sylvie is in flow. All right, we're not taking much damage, which is good. Um, I think I'm just going to crystal spike here just to be sure that she's dead. And I believe Yomi leveled up there. Yep. And here, let's go with a Holy Bolt. That's good. Sylvie can Ice Flash here. Oh, not quite. But Yomi should take her out right here with this. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right. I'm excited. All right. Uh, this is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and save our game here and now we're gonna do something a lot of new things for the first time I'm gonna use a second slot just in case because I'm using a whole new recording setup in case this doesn't come out right I'm gonna go ahead and save onto the second slot and we're gonna use that from now on so there we go all right let's go in and get our asses kicked security level green opening door Oh. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a cough there. Um all right, well the fight is here then. All right. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and save our game here. Look at that. All right, push forward. Well then, I'm kind of curious to see what sort of person will be strong enough to lead all of these spirits. Although I cannot really sense a strong presence, I think that we should be careful before we walk in there. AI has probably t already told her we're approaching. There might be a trap waiting for us. Good observation. It is strange. There is no spiritual energy in that room at all. I do not like this at all. I can feel nothing in the next room. The dungeon lord had overwhelming power, but whoever is in charge has nothing that can be detected. So we have no idea what to expect on the other side. She had better not be disappointing. If she is, I'm going to do all sorts of things to her. Listen, you don't want to go in there. She's definitely taken that thing out of storage by now. What thing? What are you talking about? I can't really put it into terms you would understand, but if you go in there, you're not going to like what you find. Ooh, we're gonna find like a mech or something? Uh, barging into another room, we look all around us. Well, this is the bridge. If it's the bridge, then where is the commander? Right here. Oh, a woman with a strange banner attached to her back approaches us. What appears to be bizarre metallic wings float next to her. What is that outlaw doing with you? Surely you didn't fall for her lies and let her out, did you? The woman just shakes her head. They forced me to work with them. These people are the worst. You've always been a bad liar, chica. It's the truth. Yes, just like how you saved the galaxy by plundering the matriarch's royal treasury. But alas, I could not care less about you at the moment. The last thing I was expecting was this primitive planet putting up decent resistance. Our technology is far superior to yours and yet you're still able to defeat my soldiers. But this will not delay the invasion. Why do you even want to invade? What does this what does this world have to offer that you cannot find back at home? Things are in turmoil back home. We set out across the stars to build a new future for ourselves. Your world is ideal. It is full of energy, primitive inhabitants, and natural resources. In addition, its atmosphere is nearly identical to our own. So we would like to claim this world as our own. We won't let you do that. I cannot even comprehend what this ship is, but I know that I cannot sit idly by and let you conquer these lands. It does not matter what technology you command, we will prevail for we are defending our homes. So you are in charge of this invasion? The succubus licks her lips. Now you are going to be a tasty one. Listen, everyone, those metal wings she has, you should really leave this room right now. We aren't leaving. 
What choice do you have except to bow your heads? I, Commander Rico, will eliminate you myself. Then there will be no one left to resist our invasion. I have come a long way in my travels, Rico. My subordinates aren't to be underestimated. Neither am I. Ooh. A voice rings out from her strange metallic wings. Weapons fully charged. Titan weapon system online. Fully charged? Charge? Titan weapon system? I was distracting you while it was charging up. Running diagnosis. Diagnosis complete. Oh, weapons nominal. Oh great, here we go. Why didn't you just beat her senseless instead of wasting your time arguing with her? It's not as if we knew what she was doing. Now that I'm fully charged up, why don't I introduce you to the TWS, the single most powerful weapon created by our, our civilization, ideal for destroying enemy infantry. It doesn't matter how strong that weapon is, we shall prevail no matter what. You don't even know what this weapon system can do, so let's see how you fare against this! Targets locked, preparing to fire. A strange humming echoes through the air. Alright, level 70, as I surmised. Alright, let's go ahead and lead off with a simple fire twist here. I imagine she is resistant to most things. She dodges. Uh, oh, hold on a second, hold on. Alright, she does a missile launcher. Uh, let's go ahead and poison dust. This is what I should have done instead of that fire twist. I should not have done the fire twist. We do got the paralyze on her though. Um, let's pick away with a poison bolt here. Got it. All right. Um, sure, fire twist. Let's hope for a crit. Nope. All right, she missed. Okay, okay, good. She didn't get into her. Uh, state there flow state um i think a triple slash is floating shit and i forgot to give sylvie the physical seed god damn it i'm no good okay uh all right just simple fire twist all right all right uh yomi's in flow so that's good yes we all dodged we all dodged so awesome all right um I'm gonna poison bolt just because I want to try to get the CP and I want to land the. Well, actually, this is a 110. Ah, this is also a 110. All right, let's go for the ice flash then. She resists that though. Um. Hmm. Fire twist and crystal crystal spike both. Uh, uh. Let's try the crystal spike. There we go. There we go. She did not lose a CP though. Um, shoot. Um, all right, we'll go with triple slashes, or should we go with the fire slash? Let's go with fire slash. Got you. She resisted though, and ice slash here. All right, that is not the end. I know it. I know it's not the end. No way. That was it. CPQ core has been damaged. Titan weapon system is now offline. What? The Titan weapon system has failed? But you're just a bunch of primitives from a backward planet. This shouldn't be possible. You underestimated us. Ha, you used that weapon as a crutch. Nothing can defeat hard work. Hiriko pulls out a weapon from a compartment inside the TWS as she called it. Eat this. A flash of light launches from the weapon. Ooh, ooh. Seri deflects it with her blade. Ooh. Hiriko keeps firing, only for Seri to easily evade or parry it. Soon we hear a clicking noise. Damn it, out of ammo. She throws the weapon away. Well, that's it then. You've won. Hiriko bows her head. We just wanted a new home. Well, why didn't you just ask then? <sighs> What do you mean? <laughs> if you want a new home, you don't have to invade us. I practically own these lands and there's plenty of free space, so why not just settle here peacefully? I expect Seri to immediately protest, but strangely she's kneeling down next to Hiriko. I don't understand much of what I've seen today. A woman's voice living inside a metal grate, doors which open by themselves, something called flu season. 
and these strange things called key cards but what i do understand is what it's like to be so disillusioned with your homelands that you just want to leave hiriko looks up at seri if you want to stay here we won't drive you away i never expected something like this to happen it, if it wouldn't bother you we would like to stay then you're free to stay as long as you like. Just don't cause any trouble. Some of the troops here won't give up on the invasion plan right away. So you won't be safe even after this agreement. That's fine. We can handle ourselves. Despite herself, Hiriko is smiling at us. It's a promise then. We will settle here peacefully. In fact, we are even willing to share our technology. Share your technology with you. We will uplift your civilization if you so wish. I do not quite understand what... a uplifting means basically we would raise your civilization's technology to be on par with ours no no that is not necessary we will get there eventually i am sure as interesting as all of this is i have to agree with yomi everything here is just too strange for me to comprehend very well then i will try to spread the word stay safe in the meantime don't worry about us Hariko. we'll be fine oh have we finish the whole thing let's go back in there nice of you to visit but there isn't much happening around here i have to relay orders so please leave hmm does that mean we need to come back with a different character um since we're only halfway through a normal episode uh let's go ahead and warp gem back to the town um Talk to Isabella, nothing there. Let's go ahead and save our game here. And return. Walk around town. The Room of Seals. I don't think I want to do that yet. So we're going to go actually to Organized Party. And I believe we want to bring Maeve into our party. So let's bring our old... Let's... Succubus, Spirit Guardian, and... Well, let's see. Let's bring Maeve back and Captain Bonnie... And I think that's it. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure there is some missing um, things. Looking at the characters, I don't think any of these are ones we need to bring back anywhere. All right, let's go. Um, I don't want to deal with the, the that lady yet. Let's go to Yomi's throne room, which was. The, this one, I think. And let's check the map here. Did I do this already? I don't remember. Um, Let's go here. Well, there's at least one more character we need to get. Uh, let's just kill these guys easily. And they're done. Let's barge through here, and it might be something here. All right, the Rio is exactly where we left her. Idly lying around with her servants, tending to her, nice of you to visit me again. But I think you might have better things to do. Ask about her servants, may you speak as you wish. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Well, I don't know what else we're supposed to do, so let's... Go to consumables. Let's go to the warp gem. And all right, let's save our game once again. And let's go to the room of seals. And we are ready, Miko. We're not gonna go through this. We talked about this. Okay, are you ready to go? Yes, we are. Let's go to the teleporter. We're gonna teleport. Um, and you know what? Shit. Uh, <laughs> let's load this here for a second. Here, uh, let's go back to organized party and take out these two and put these two because of levels all right all right now we we'll go back to the room seals and we're gonna attempt it let's try it let's see if we could do it uh we've already we never found ancient evils okay let's do it blah blah we've talked about this before we see a rough doorway and uh, she's saying, are you sure we want to re remove the seals? Yes, we want to remove the seals. Yes, let's do it. And, oh God, 
I don't remember this being so long. Release the seal. Alright. Okay. A strange woman with a number of seals plastered over her body appears in the room. She looks around her, curiously examining her surroundings. Finally, I am free. I knew you could not hold me back forever. She notices us standing in the room. Are you the ones responsible for sealing me? Not at all. But we are the ones who will be responsible for defeating you. She lets out loud mocking laughter. <laughs> How do you plan on def to defeat me? Do you even know who I am? The Mikos did not exactly describe who you were to us, no. I am Izanami, the great calamity even the gods could not quell. This land has prospered in my absence, but now it is time for that prosperity to end. We won't let you do anything like that. Then prove it. All around us, we begin to feel her terrible, overwhelming power. Let us battle then. Your deaths will mark the beginning of a new era of despair. Alright. Alright, 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 right, right. So, let's go ahead and guard here guard here and then have Sari throw out the poison dust. T-shield shit. I gotta get that poison on her. I really do. Let's try one more round of guarding. I, I actually could have gone for that poison bolt, but let's go with poison dust here. Got you. Got you. Alright, we're gonna throw out this poison bolt for the accuracy. She has E skin. All right, so no no poison. Okay, okay, okay. So no poison will go with fire now. Probably resist that. She's probably res oh fire! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Uh, fire slash. Yeah! Oh fuck! I forgot about the E skin. All right, so crystal spike here. Got you. Alright, Yomi's in flow, Seri's in flow. Very nice. Alright, we did ice already. So combust? Combust. BAM! <laughs> Put her on guard. Oh my god, we are doing so much better. Do we go for Astro Blade? No, we're just gonna go with triple slab. Let's throw poison dust. I am not taking any chances. She has do so, that's why I am eternal. No matter if I am sealed, defeated, or even erased from existence, I will always return. Izanami has activated the do so ability. Yes, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, I don't remember that. We did combust. So, let's go ahead and throw a crystal. Actually, that might miss. Um, Maybe I guard. No, let's throw out a crystal spell. Oh my god. Ooh, minus 16 to hit. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, she's in flow also. Shit. That's why. Huh. Alright, guard. Fire twist at Yomi. I resist. That wasn't too bad. And... Ugh, I just remembered I forgot to set up Sylvie. Alright, poison dust here. Let's... Come on, give it to me, please. Nope, D-Shield. All right, we're going to guard. Or do we go for a poison bolt? We'll go for the poison bolt. Oh, God, look at that. Minus four chance to hit. All right, guard here. Fire twist is not bad. I She misses. Um, Damn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to guard here. Keep our APs up. Poison dust. One of these is bound to hit. All right. All right. Now we can throw out a fire twist. Still hard to hit, but the better chance. Uh, I am throwing out a poison bolt here. Oh my god, look at the low chance. Ice cutter, that's gonna miss. Uh, I'm gonna throw out poison dust again. There we go. To extend that duration there. Um, fire twist sounds good here. Uh, yeah! All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's torn. She is torn. We're going to Ice Flash. D-Shield. Fire Twist. I resist that. All right. I'm feeling so good right now. Um, Just Triple Slashes, I think, here. She resists Physical. Okay. Um, I think we can throw out some... Ah, Crystal Spike. Bam! Defeated. We got her. Izanami collapses, unable to continue fighting. 
So, it seems that I am no longer the strongest in this land. This world has certainly changed since I last saw it. I know how you feel. I will see you the way for several hundred years as well. Why are you sympathizing with me? I am one of the most ancient evils this world knows. You're a woman before you're anything else. I walk over and sit down next to her. Now that you've been weakened, what do you think comes next? You destroy me, of course, or seal me away. These, these are the only ways to stop me. Nonsense. You barely have the strength to stand at the moment. It will come back to me eventually. Why is it that you want to destroy the land anyway? That is my purpose in this world. I am the embodiment of entropy, the counterbalance of creation. It's then that the fox Miko enters the room again. You actually did it! More Mikos enter the room pulling out paper seals. Let us seal her again and she would not trouble this world again for thousands of years. I have another idea, Biko. What? I turn to Izanami. How would you like to have a magical contract? The fox Miko immediately panics. You can't be serious, Dungeon Lord. Even you couldn't control Izanami without a contract. With a contract, <laughs> she needs to be sealed right now before she has a chance to recover. Izanami, Izanami seems bemused. You somehow think you can control me? Well, it is worth a try. At the very worst, we go back to beating you senseless and stuff you inside an orb again. Very well. I accept this contract. No, you don't know what you're doing, Dungeon Lord. This is Izanami, the Great Calamity. Of being so dangerous that even the heavens cannot fully restrain her. She would destroy the entirety of these lands. Not if I restrain her myself. She will remain in this room in the middle of all of these seals. Well, we cannot stop do anything to stop you. But if she breaks free of your contract, what happens next will be your responsibility. I am willing to accept that. You are a very interesting woman, Fox. Perhaps this contract would be worth it. We've had talks like this before, Yomi. Even though I agree with the Mikos here, I'm sure you can keep her in check. Do your best. Will do. We should head back for now. Before we leave, I pick up a bundle of loose seals and ropes. Now whatever could you want with those? Oh, nothing. You found a bundle of talismans. What is that? Oh no, is that, um, <laughs> oh, it's strange. I was expecting peace after I had reclaimed my dungeon, but it seems like conflict simply follows me no matter what I do. An ancient calamity is lying somewhere in the depths below me, and fox spirits from another world have started their new lives here, but it has not been boring at all. Well then, the dungeon is more or less cleared for now. There's only a few pockets of resistance left, and I'm sure your subordinates can handle that. Will you be going back to your guild to report your success? I'm sure they will shower you with riches and fame. Eventually I will, but there's no rush. For now we should enjoy this peace while it lasts. Sounds like an excellent idea to me. Maybe it's a good time to go traveling. Maybe it is. Did we go through that conversation already or is that a new one? Talk to Isabella. Isabella, I have some interesting materials for you to work with today. Do show me, my humble master. I think you should reconsider this, Yomi. I hold out the bundle of cursed seals to Isabella. Hmm, are you sure that this is a good idea? Even with my skill, I cannot ensure that these seals won't affect you. It's alright. I have made a contract with the owner of these seals. No harm shall come to me. If you say so, I will have faith in you, my humble master. Now this is more like it. Well, that's not too terrible. I do not understand your reason for turning these materials into an out outfit. I simply thought it would be a nice memento. Either way, I'm really liking this outfit. There is something you're learning about it, especially when you're wearing it, my humble master. That's also due to your efforts, Isabella. Okay, we'll change your outfit. Uh, I do like... Well, let's see the demon costume <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Let's go with back to the sea spacesuit. Spacesuit is cool. All right. Um, guess what, guys? That's it, I think. Um, I mean, there might be. There might be more in the dungeon. In fact, there is one character that we have not gotten. There is an, an Anubis character. So, I will do some research and try to figure it out. And. 
if I know what to do, then there'll be a forthcoming episode. But otherwise, this could be the end of it. So we'll save our game there. And for all of those guys that have been following, man, thank you so much. You guys have just been great. Um, you've been pushing me on. And it is so good to get to the end of a series because I have so many more to do. Um, I probably won't start a long series for a while yet because I have some more videos to do. I have a bunch of um, uh, inquest uh, videos to do. If you don't know what the inquest videos are, it's basically I play a game for about 30 minutes and then, you know, the first 30 minutes and then give you uh, my thoughts on it. Is it worth playing further or is it garbage or is it just mediocre? So you have that to look forward to plus my... Um, what I call the undertaking of my roguelike games that I've been playing lately that I'm uh, kind of infatuated with. But anyway, all right, guys, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Hmm.